Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Pop OS 22.0 for LTS and Windows 10 or 11. So let's get started. This guide is only for UEFI systems. So if you have a legacy BIOS system then please follow our video link in the description box or in the i button above. Open your web browser and search for Pop OS. Click on the first link and click on download. Now if you have Nvidia graphics card then you need to choose the second option and if you don't have Nvidia graphics card on your PC then you can choose the first option to download Pop OS. Since I have already downloaded I am not going to download it again and after you have downloaded the ISO file you need to open another tab and search for Rufus. Click on the first link and download the latest version of Rufus. We need Rufus to make a bootable USB pen drive of Pop OS. After downloading Rufus, you need to insert your pen drive, which is at least 8 GB, and please make a backup of your pen drive data because your pen drive will be formatted and after you have inserted your pen drive, open Rufus and select the ISO file which we just downloaded. Now click on start. This process will take some time so I am just going to fast forward the video and cut this part. Finally it is done. Now close everything and right click on the start menu and open disk management. Now right click on the largest volume and select shrink volume. Now enter the size which you want to give it to pop OS. I recommend at least 30 GB but I am going to give it 40 GB for this video. Now close disk management and restart your PC. Now while your PC is starting, press F2 key to enter BIOS menu and in the BIOS menu go to security tab and disable secure boot. In some laptops you need to set administrative password to disable secure boot so please make sure to do that and disable secure boot. After that press F10 to apply the changes and exit out of BIOS menu. And now while your computer is starting, press F12 key to enter the boot menu and choose the USB device option from the boot menu and it will boot into Pop OS installation. Now we are in the pop installation, choose your language and your keyboard layout.
here choose the custom option do not choose the first option because the first option will wipe out your hard disk and install pop os so carefully choose the second option and click on next now click on modify partitions now click on unallocated free space which we just created from windows and click on right click on it and select new now under new size type 512 and select the file type as fat32 now right click on the remaining free space again and select new this time leave everything as it is and click on add after you are done click on this green check mark icon at the top and it will start creating partitions Now the installer will take some time to refresh the partitions and now you will see the new partitions which we just created. Now click on this yellow new partition and use this partition as slash boot slash EFI. Now click on the new green partition and use this partition as root which is forward slash. After those partitions are ticked, click on erase and install. Now type your full name and give a username for your pop OS. Give a password for your pop OS. Go fdisk-l to see our list of partitions.
Now type this following command to see if Windows bootloader files are copied to Linux or not. And if you see a Microsoft folder in the list, then it is copied. Now type this following command to change some configuration files. Go to the next line and type timeout, give a space and type the time in seconds. I'm going to give it 5 seconds. So I'm going to type it 5. Now go to the next line and type console dash mode and give a space and type max. After that, press Ctrl plus O to save and Ctrl plus X to exit out of this text editor. Now let's restart to check if the menu is showing up at startup or not. Now as you can see you will get this menu to choose between operating system each time you start your PC. Now for now I'm going to boot into Pop OS. Great we are able to boot into Pop OS so now let's reboot again to check if we are able to boot into Windows as well. Select the option with Windows Boot Manager to boot into Windows. As you can see we are also able to boot into windows as well. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.